this is 20 minutes of my day that pisses me off the most. And really, who am I trying to impress? Like, who's looking at me? I'm a 42-year-old married woman with two children. But here's the answer. 90 teenagers are looking at me. It is so deeply ingrained in who I am. Like I am a teacher all of the time. Every minute I am gleaning information from the, I mean, I am, it's almost like a sickness. <laughs> I'm constantly thinking, listening. Oh, I need to bookmark that. Oh, that'll, I'll use that in there. I'll integrate this in here. I'll, I mean, it's, it's almost like a madness. They're performers. They're a performance artist. They have to, they have to capture the attention of an audience. I wanted to be the heroic teacher, you know, stand and deliver, dead poet society. Um, these were the kinds of movies I watched and was inspired by and cried at and said, yes, that is going to be me. What the literature says is that in terms of what students think, that the single most important characteristic of a good teacher is someone who cares about them. And so she definitely brought up more than just this fact happened, this fact happened, this fact happened, this is all history. It was more problem solving and critically, critically thinking about what has happened, what does that mean. I'm very weary, I'm very saddened, and yes, we are in crisis in the state of North Carolina. I am losing teachers right and left, and I am literally watching the program that we built fall apart. I believe that before we start talking about merit pay or any merit pay programs, let's move all the salaries up and let's move them up quite a bit. What I'm really afraid about, part of what I have a kindergartner and a second grader, is that we're about to get the teaching pool that we deserve. And that is not in the best interest of our students. Um, our best and brightest are not going to consider teaching. You know, my student evaluations are usually pretty good. You know, like students tell me that they get a lot out of the class, that they benefit from it, that it's well organized, that they understand it, they, you know, and then I look at this screen and it looks so dismal and I, I just don't know what reality is. If you ask a parent what makes their, their child's teacher good, they don't say they raise standardized test scores. What I see in my wife is the fact that she is so dedicated to her school, dedicated to her students, and dedicated to her job. I mean, she works countless hours outside the classroom for the better of her students. Pleasure and enjoyment is for once you get your to-do list done. But the problem is the to-do list is never done. Sometimes I feel like um, my children get the short end of the stick in terms of my profession. You know, you never just like close the classroom door and say, compartmentalize in your mind, I am done with my work for the day and now I'm going to go home and be my real self. Well, that real self is, I never close the door. I, I never turn out the lights.